What's going on guys, it is Alone Courier here, and I'm here to talk to you guys today about Infinite Warfare. Holy fucking shit, you're late, blah 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 blah. I prefer not to make a video on this when it came out because, well, yesterday, I'm assuming every single one of you watching this video has subscribed to quite a few Call of Duty YouTubers, and yesterday, dude, oh, dude, that was, it was fucking, oh god damn annoying. You know, there's so many people just spamming videos about it. I was gonna make a video and I was like sitting there. I had a little look through my sub box and I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm not posting a video on this shit. Because everybody's seen a video on it, it's just regurgitated bullshit, there's no new information, you know. You watch a video from fucking, I don't know, Chaos X Silencer, it's the exact same shit that Prestige's Key's saying. You know, every one of these fucking videos, they're all the exact same, everybody's saying the same stuff. There's no point in making a video when this news comes out unless you want to get some kind of more views. And honestly, I knew I would get quite a few views, so realistically for a channel my size it would have been quite a smart move to make a video on it. But I don't know, I just prefer not to make videos on that kind of stuff because, well, I'm not that kind of channel. And another thing as well is the amount of fucking videos I seen yesterday from people being like, Hidden secret audio? It's like hidden secret audio, dude. Really? When it gets blared in the middle of a public match? That's not secret. Shut the fuck up, Chaos. That's not secret. But yeah, Infinite Warfare, it seems like it's legit so far, I mean there's been a lot of shit going around, Call of Duty posted that 30 second video from Johnny Sins looking motherfucker, uh, a bunch of other shit like that, you know you've got your average Call of Duty marketing going on there, you know they're just trying to show off the bad guy, build up some hype around it, pretty sure they're doing shit like this with Black Ops 3, honestly when it comes to marketing for Call of Duty they're never going to do it as good as they had for GK Nova 6 back in Black Ops 1. Uh, that was a that was a great bit of marketing right there. Basically, if you don't know what it was, uh, if you've played Black Ops 1 Zombies, there is the loading screen for zombies, or just the main menu, you know, when you're in the torture chair and, you know, there's a piano music going on in the background and there's a zombie banging on the window and shit. That stuff, that was pretty fucking cool. And basically they had that as a website, but nobody knew it was zombies at first, you know. It, was, it had all monitors and shit and you could just see some stuff going on in the background. It was quite creepy as well because they're sending out stuff to a bunch of different sources and whatnot, and some of it, you know, you couldn't tell it's Call of Duty at first. It's quite cool, honestly. I was around when that was going on, and there's a website with it, and they had a bunch of sound files up on it, and it was quite fucking creepy. I'm not even gonna lie, but this stuff, <laughs> it's it's not very exciting. And it's not really news. I mean, the main thing is the audio loop in the Nuketown multiplayer map now that's been added in. And obviously the outro. I'll show you all this shit at the end of the video if you want to see it, but chances are you've seen it already. So basically, this fucking bald headed motherfucker comes in and he's just like, blah 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 blah, we will fucking end you, da 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 da. Generic Call of Duty bad guy shit that's going on. Um, and he says he's from some settlement defense force, something like that, or front, I don't know, can't fucking make it out. But yeah, basically this is the new antagonist from Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. It sounds like Kylo Ren, I'm not even gonna lie. And it's obviously setting up the story, there's obviously the good guys that he's talking to, and there's all this shit going on. And honestly, it could actually be a good game, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, it's gonna be futuristic, it'll be shit. I mean, there is a chance that it could be quite a good game. I mean... Considering the fact that there's also going to be Modern Warfare 1 released alongside it, I think it might be an alright game because, let's just face it, if you don't like the movement system that's going to be in the game inevitably, you can just go back to MW1 if you want. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, it's going to be quite cool that they're releasing two games alongside each other. I mean, maybe the movement system might not be that bad after all. I mean, obviously, if you've seen the trend that's been going on the last two years, there's Advanced Warfare where the movement system was all over the place. And then obviously you had Black Ops 3 which toned it down quite a lot. Maybe this game will have it toned down even further. I mean honestly the best kind of movement system I could see them still having in Call of Duty would be quite similar to Doom. If you're unaware of the system in Doom, basically you get a boost jump but you can only boost jump once. Basically you press A to jump and then you can press it again and you get your little double jump. It's really weak. To be honest the only use for it was maybe to side strafe or to get up to a higher ledge platform. I think that would be quite cool, but I don't know, they probably wouldn't even do anything like that. They'll probably make it insane or something. Anyway, the, the cover the cover that's been released, you know, the leak that's been going around with the MW1 remastered on it, the guy doesn't look like he's wearing a jetpack, so maybe, maybe there won't be 
But I don't know. And Black Ops 3 didn't really look like they had jetpacks, but they still do, so probably. Um, in terms of shit I'm expecting from this game, honestly, I've got no expectations right now. And I'm probably just going to keep my expectations quite low for the entire game. Well, in, for the entire like build-up to the game coming out, you know, I'll play it when it comes out, obviously. Um, there's been a lot of people like, oh, what are you going to play first, MW1 or fucking Infinite Warfare? I mean, no doubt I'm going to play Infinite Warfare first. A lot of people are going to be like, holy shit, oh my god, man, you've turned. But no, I've not turned or anything like that. It's just, I've played MW1 to the death. I've played so much of that game, I know it, like, basically like the back of my hand. And I would just rather play a new game first, you know. And if the new game sucks, I'll go back to MW1. It's not saying that I'm not going to play MW1. I mean, people are making this out to be like, you've got no fucking choice, whether you're playing Infinite Warfare or Modern Warfare 1, it's one or the other. You know, it's like, what happened to playing 2? I mean, I, I remember when I used to play two Call of Duty's at once, so it was quite fun. But, you know, I will probably play a mixture of both. Infinite Warfare first, definitely. I'll have some gameplay up when it's out, but why am I even talking about it? It's almost six months out from release. Yeah, it, it's the shit in the game, it could be good. Futuristic setting in space. It could be good, I say. I'm not too sure though, honestly. There, there is some stuff they could definitely do good, but ultimately it just comes down to what the movement system is going to be like and the gameplay overall. I mean, if there's a Call of Duty game that has this movement system in it, like Black Ops 3, and if it was a really polished game that ran smoothly, I would probably play it. You know, that's the thing. I don't mind the whole jetpack shit, I mean, I get frustrated with it at times, but I can put up with it as long as the game itself is good. You know, I mean, when you go to the last two Call of Duty games, they've just been boring overall. I mean, you had Black Ops 3, which is just boring, and then you've got Modern Inf uh, Advanced Warfare, which is really boring as well. I mean, it's like nowadays, they've got something that, well, they've removed something that didn't used to be in the game, well, it was in the game, and that's what made it fun. And overall, I think it's the, the overpowered shit that used to be in the game. I mean, like, if you've seen so far, there's been the rumours of the MW1 remake, and there's been the rumours of MW2 coming back, and there's been so many fucking YouTubers talking about what needs to be fixed. Honestly, I think that's what's wrong with Call of Duty these days, is fucking armchair Call of Duty YouTubers acting like they know everything. Cough, cough, drifter. Guys like that, they're like, this needs to be fixed, that needs to be removed, this needs to be fixed. That is what made those games fun. I mean, don't get me wrong, I was fucking pissed off at One Man Army Noob Tubes, but that's what made Modern Warfare 2 so goddamn unique. I mean, if it was Modern Warfare 2 without the One Man Army Noob Tubes, it wouldn't be Modern Warfare 2. It'd just be a pretty boring game. I mean, it wouldn't be boring, but you know what I'm saying here. The overpowered shit in that game is what made it fun. You know, the ridiculous quickscoping, the Model 1887 Akimbos, the Spaz 12, the fucking Death Streaks. That's what made the game fun. Honestly, if we go around removing this shit, it's just going to make the game even less fun. It's just going to make it even more like a basic Call of Duty game. I mean, if you look at MW3, if you strip that back, if you take all the overpowered shit out of the game, it's just going to be boring and mundane. Like, half of the shit they had from MW2 that came back for MW3, it was boring. I mean, you've got quick scoping, so it's not even as fun as it was in MW2. Not sure I sound like I'm some kind of phase fanboy or anything here, but I did quick scope back in the day. 420 get wrecked, son. Yeah, everybody did it back in the day, you know, all this overpowered shit. It was fun, like the Model 1887s. I'm pretty sure they brought that back for MW3 and it just wasn't the same. Because it was shit and it was just boring. Honestly, I think if they bring the games back and remove all this fun, overpowered, broken shit. It's just going to make the games boring. And I mean, as long as Infinite Warfare has some overpowered shit and it doesn't get birthed, doesn't get nerfed, it might be a good game, you know? Because half of this overpowered shit make the game fun. I mean, nowadays, you drop a fucking immense gameplay and you get some high-end killstreaks. It isn't even as fun as it used to be. I mean, you're watching this gameplay, I'm dropping like raps and haters. But it wasn't even that far. I mean, yeah, the raps do get you quite a few kills, but it's it's not like a chopper gunner or an AC-130 from back in the day, you know what I'm saying? It's all just really, really underpowered, underwhelming killstreaks, and it's just boring. But yeah, I hope you guys can at least understand what I'm saying. I mean, this is just hungover rambling from me, to be honest. So, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. It's been a long career. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I always do appreciate it. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.